The investigation into the anthrax killer is being called the FBI's most expensive and compelling undertaking ever. The agency spent more than $10 million and recruited top genome researchers from across the country to find out who was responsible for the 2001 anthrax attacks. Bruce Ivins killed himself last week as prosecutors prepared to indict him on murder charges in connection with the case. A government scientist who spoke to the AP on condition of anonymity says DNA was taken from the bodies of those who died. Then researchers used new genome technology to identify the anthrax strain that killed the victims. They eventually linked that specific kind of anthrax to the biological weapons lab run by Ivins. Uh, we knew that Bruce worked at Fort Detrick. We knew that he worked with pathogens. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that they might be looking at him. The Army lab had long been on the FBI's radar, but the technology used to track down Ivans was either unavailable or too expensive to use on a regular basis up until three years ago. Five people died and 17 others were sickened by anthrax-laced envelopes sent through the mail in the weeks after the 9-11 terror attacks. Officials say the Justice Department is expected to decide within the next few days whether to close the investigation. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.